In this week's video of landscape photography in Japan, we have come to Mount Takao, which is located in the northwestern end of Tokyo Prefecture. At the trailhead, you have two main options for reaching the peak. You can either take the cable car or climb to the top on foot. There are a number of trails available and trail number one is the easiest of them all. It is mostly paved and takes you to the majority of the sightseeing spots and temples. If you're visiting Japan or Tokyo, Mount Takao offers an easily accessible escape to nature. And depending on which trail you take, there's no need for any special hiking or climbing gear, especially if you use the cable cars that take you most of the way to the top of the mountain. Well, just came down from the peak of Mount Takao. There were a lot of people up on the peak and uh, it's kind of crowded. Um, it's a weekday and I'm a little bit surprised. I didn't expect to see so many folks visiting the peak today. Uh, but it makes sense. There's a, uh, there's a cable car. Actually, there are two cable cars uh, that run right up to the, to the top of the peak. It's only I think about 530 meters high. It's, it's not a big mountain at all. So you can see a lot of couples, especially younger ladies, coming here wearing high heels, or at least just sneakers. But um, Dedu Chan and I, uh, I took a few shots at the peak, but um, 
Nitcha and I are going back down on trail number four. Uh, I got lost on the way up and, and ended up taking trail number one. So, uh, again, at the top of the peak, uh, I didn't find any good compositions. It's just, um, the scenery is cluttered. It's overcast. There's no, there's no good light. Um, if the clouds were moving rather quickly, that would make for some nice long exposures, but even that didn't work out so well, I think. Well, I took two main shots. If they turn out, I'll put them in the video. So coming down here on trail number four, uh, it's much nicer there. There are no people here. And uh, I can let Dale off her lead, let her off her leash for a little bit. Uh, steep. So on the way up, I took trail number one. It's paved all the way, except for maybe the last 700 meters. Uh, it's an easy climb. It's not even a climb. I'd say it's more like a nature walk. However, uh, coming down the mountain, I've chosen trail number four. This time I've actually found it correctly. And uh, there's a suspension bridge that I want to be able to catch a shot of. Hopefully, uh, there won't be any people and there'll be some, some interesting composition that I can take using the bridge. As far as landscape photography goes, I think this particular site would be good on a clearer day um, or during rain when there's lots of fog or mist. Uh, also in the morning when there's some nice morning light during golden hour or evening as well. And if it's a clear day, you can actually see Tokyo from, from the peak. But today it was, was even worth uh, filming. I'm hoping that the suspension bridge will be photo worthy. Yeah, chan, mate. Wait. <laughs> Slow down. There's this beautiful old tree stump. The tree must have rotted or maybe had posed some danger, so they, they cut it down. And the rest of the tree is right here. And in looking at this tree as a possible composition, I came across this beauty. Oh my God, that's just so beautiful. A lone moss-covered tree amongst some evergreens. So I'm gonna take a shot of this one. Let's see if it turns out. Position. Let me know what you think. We have this tree here on the left and another tree here on the right that are bordering the composition. In post-processing, I'll bring this tree up. Oops. In post-processing, I'll bring this tree up just a little bit and cut back on some of these highlights in the top of the screen. So for this horizontal composition, um, I'm not getting the full impact of the tree, but the major portion here where all that moss is on the trunk really stands out and I think this will turn out okay. On the way down, we came across this suspension bridge. 
I struggled with several different compositions, but there is just too much clutter in the image. What I did is I focused on the wooden planks of the flooring of the bridge to draw the viewer's eyes away from the clutter in the surrounding woodland. There are a number of inns and Japanese style restaurants lining the streets from the trailhead to the train station. Takao san Guchi Station ensures that anyone can visit this mountain whether you have a car or not. Mount Takao has much to offer in terms of landscape or woodland photography, especially during spring and autumn. Let me know what you think of the photos. Both good and bad reviews are welcomed. Information and useful links that can help you make the most of your visit to Mount Takao will be posted in my blog. Be sure to check the link below in the video description. If you liked this video and you found it useful, please check the thumbs up icon and be sure to subscribe. So, yoroshiku onegaishimasu.